Today, I put 20 of the greatest players ever back into the NBA, but each one has been added to a random all-time great team. And when I say random, I mean it. There is barely a connection between player and team in, in some of these cases, but it will be fun, I guarantee it. For example, in our new NBA league, I've got Michael Jordan in his prime on the 2017 Golden State Warriors. I mean, there isn't much of a connection here other than it's the GOAT on the greatest team ever. And I've also gotten comments about this for quite a while asking to put MJ on the 2017 Warriors so I'm finally doing it and I expanded our universe. I went ahead and put David Robinson on the 1977 76ers because the Admiral, one of the greatest players ever the 76ers, they needed a center I'm transporting prime Kevin Durant back to the 1970s to play alongside Kareem and Oscar Robertson, that's a crazy big three I've got a Michael Jordan led Bulls team, the 1993 squad with Charles Barkley, he lost to the Bulls in the finals now he joins them that's gonna be deadly oh speaking of michael jordan bulls teams i actually forgot i made this one uh hakeem olajuwon 99 overall so yeah which bulls team is gonna run this video i was having trouble coming up with a team to put bill russell on and then it hit me um the celtics it, like the current day version they won the championship last year one of the best rosters obviously in the nba when healthy and now they add the goat bill russell the current day celtics aren't our only boston team in here no 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 lebron james who famously could have never survived in the 1980s or so they say i put him on the 1986 celtics i put kobe bryant on the 2008 celtics because that just feels wrong Wrong. Disgusting. I dropped Jerry West onto the 0-2 Sacramento Kings because Sacramento, they deserved a title in the early 2000s. Maybe Jerry can put him over. Dr. J started his professional career in New York playing in the ABA, so why not toss him on the 1972 Knicks? Oscar Robertson left the Cincinnati Royals for the Milwaukee Bucks in the early 70s. What if he had teamed up with Jerry West and Wilt Chamberlain instead? Carl Malone ended his career famously on the 2004 Lakers, but uh, the 1987 Showtime Lakers, what if they had added prime Carl Malone. What if the duo of Kobe Bryant and Shaquille O'Neal added a, a little guy named Magic Johnson? They, they were already unstoppable. How about the current day Dallas Mavericks? A really great roster on paper with Luka, Kyrie. They lost in the finals last year. Prime Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Give him a big man. Larry Bird had many epic battles with the 1980s Detroit Pistons. Now he joins them. Shaquille O'Neal and the Lakers flamed out to the Pistons in 2004. Now he joins them. The defensive juggernauts. I created arguably the best defensive front line of all time putting MVP Kevin Garnett on Hakeem's 1994 Rockets. Tim Duncan owned Mike D'Antoni and Steve Nash during the 2000s. What if they teamed up on the Suns? Oh, another current day team, the Golden State Warriors. Uh, yeah, where else would I put Prime Wilt? Why not next to Steph and Draymond? And rounding things out, our third Golden State Warrior teams, I sent Steph Curry back in time. A little, little flip-flop onto the run TMC Warriors. All in all, this is a very random video, but I put arguably the 20 greatest players ever into a league together with some truly historic teams. I'm very curious to see how this plays out. And my first mistake with creating this roster in this video, ha having Luka Doncic, he, he wins MVP because of course he's alive in this universe. Charles Barkley, I don't know why he's listed as a rookie. That's pretty funny. Only averaged 12 and 10 next to MJ, but wins rookie of the year. Tim Hardaway Sr. moved to the bench because Steph must be starting. Takes home six man of the year. Defensive player, of, the, of course, it's Bill Russell every time, dude. And of course, how fitting. Kobe Bryant looks like 01 Froby version wins clutch player of the year all nba first team of course luca joined by shaq that's lakers shaq mj okay he usually doesn't simulate well wilt and hakeem from the bulls yes his timeline's going crazy already larry bird chris weber magic from the 87 lakers kareem and kevin durant what a duo third team we've got tim duncan scotty pippen there's kobe there's kg who is playing next to hakeem and kareem on the current day mavs let's go very quickly all defensive we've got uh yeah some usual suspects here shaq getting an all defensive not you got two all defensive nods same with mj okay with only 20 teams in our league there is no play in tournament so our playoff bracket is set we've got the mavericks as the one seed in the west we've got mike's 96 bulls with hakeem yep I, I figured they'd be pretty good they're the one seed in the east starting with the east mike and hakeem won 64 games kobe on the 08 celtics won 52 so they probably got the biggest boost Shaq and the pistons make the playoffs dr j in there with the knicks nice and dr j on the 76ers with admiral make it. missing the playoffs in the east we've got oh kareem and durant was not a great combo i guess 
also Charles Barkley and MJ. Well, as I always say in these videos, some teams have to miss the playoffs and lose games, even as great as they are. Over in the West, Prime Kareem added next to Luka and Kyrie. That might be a bit OP. Uh, Wilt on the current... Wow. So Wilt on the current day Warriors simulated slightly better than Michael Jordan on the 2017 Warriors. That's a big takeaway. We've got two Laker teams in there. My boy Steve and Tim Duncan make the playoffs. A third Laker team in there, 71 with Big O. Missing the playoffs though, Steph and the run TMC, Golden State Warriors, KG and Hakeem. Yeah, I was a little worried about that team. This playoff sim is going to go crazy. Look at that. Michael Jordan. I feel like I never see him any version simulate well. 31 points a game clear of Luka, Kobe, Durant, and Hakeem for the league lead. Those are the top five, obviously. Rebounds per game, all OGs. Wilt, Kareem, Shaq, Chris Webber, and Bill Russell. Okay. Yes, my guy Steve Nash simulating so well. 13 and 12. That's MVP Steve. Um, Luka's just ridiculous. We've got both Magics and Isaiah. To oh, right. I have the 1989 Pistons. I forgot. Just to nerd out a bit. Game score leaders, the advanced analytics. Luka is I should have not. I, I definitely shouldn't have included him in this video. Shaq, Michael Jordan, Will, Kobe. I mean, this timeline is insane. Like so much talent. Look at Kevin Garnett up there, even though the Rockets missed the playoffs and Kevin Durant with the Bucks. And into the playoffs we go. Kareem and the Mavs, no problem. They win in six. We've got a game seven on deck. Uh, not for Michael Jordan and the 2017 Warriors. The reason we made this video, he beat Steve Nash and Tim Duncan. Also, Wilt on the current day Warriors advancing. We've got a Golden State battle coming up. Over in the East, Michael Jordan having a great video for the Bulls. They swept David Robinson and the Sixers. We've got a game seven coming up in the East, and we've got a pair of sweeps by Bill Russell and the current day Celtics. Kobe and the 08 Celtics. A round two battle of two Golden State teams and also two Boston teams. On the bright side, we're going to lose one of each, so that's a W. Oh, no, but my LeBron stand-up, I, uh, I almost forgot LeBron. Oh, they have LeBron coming off the bench? No wonder they're into a game seven. Taking on Shaq and the Pistons. Who, oh, no, LeBron, don't lose. I guess it kind of makes... No, it doesn't make sense. Kevin McHale literally won six man of the year in his career. He should be coming off the bench with Larry and LeBron starting at the three and the four. Maybe start McHale at center. Anyways. Oh, okay. I accidentally just skipped through this game. Um, Look at that third quarter score. The Pistons beat Boston 46-18. I was so shocked by that. I couldn't even stop the sim to jump in. What did LeBron... LeBron coming off the bench only played 28 minutes, seven turnovers. He shot five of 14. Dude, uh, LeBron can't survive the 80s, but he was playing a team from the mid 2000s. So I, I don't know. This is an L for LeBron this video. I don't know what else to say. He wasn't even Le Robin James. He was La Alfred James. Thankfully, we don't have three Boston Celtic teams advancing to the second round. That's actually a good thing. Uh, we're about to lose a Laker team here. We've got Carl and the Showtime Lakers against Magic in the 0-1. Magic versus Magic in this matchup. We've got Shaq versus Kareem. This is insane. I, I actually don't know which team is better on paper. And apparently, neither does 2K because we've got a one-point game with just over a minute left. An awkward moment here. I don't know which Laker team is winning. Uh, we'll find out here if we get a bucket. Kobe trying to make things happen. I still don't know which team is leading. Magic Johnson up the court to uh, Byron Scott slicing to the rim for kind of an awkward looking finish, but he made it happen. And now it's the 87 Lakers with a lead. Oh my gosh. Okay, so they were down one. Kobe going to work on Carl Malone behind the back. Gets fouled. Um, I am sorry, Laker fans. I don't know how this happened. Magic got forced to wear number 23. I, I guess because Carl Malone's wearing 32. Why would that have happened automatically? That's such an L. I'm busy worried about Magic Johnson's number. Uh, Byron Scott pulling up from the big... Byron Scott, with all these Hall of Famers on the floor, he's taking the game over. At least if it was Kareem, I would understand it. Kobe going right away is uh, spinning. Okay, uh, all right. Okay, so so Kobe just took over in the clutch. Fair enough, my guy. To see Carl Malone usurping Magic for, oh my goodness, number 32. That is what I'm most concerned about here. Not the fact that Carl Malone just hit a game winner. Oh my goodness, he sliced back door. The 0-1 Lakers don't have a timeout. Horace Grant played no defense. Go, Kobe, go. Wait, that's actually a good look. Kobe from the low. No, nope. go, it rims out. That was a good look. It really was. Kobe had 39 on 14 of 21 shooting. Shaq was kind of mid. Magic only scored five points. Carl Malone stole Magic's number 32 and said, I'm the captain now. A triple double and the game winner. I mean, just what a sequence of events. It's possible I'm about to strip Carl Malone of all his powers here, but you are not number 32. Magic is number 32. All right, Carl, you can be number 13. I mean, 35. 
four. Okay. Oh, awkward. He actually can't be number 13. I shouldn't have made that joke. Let's just move on. We're on to the second round of our playoff sim and uh, only one Laker team, two Golden State teams. Thankfully, not three Celtic teams, but basically all legendary franchise matchups here. Wow. And no dramatics in the East. I want to see Mike and Hakeem in action. We probably will here in the East finals. They advance as do the current day Celtics. Pour one out for Kobe on the 08 Celtics. He killed it in the playoffs. 32 points, seven assists per game. Too bad we didn't jump into a game to see it. Dog, the current day Celtics with Bill Russell are just overpowered. To dominate this team, we will see Kobe in action with the 01 Lakers in a second. But first, the current day Golden State Warriors are up three games to two on the 2017 Warriors with Michael Jordan. And now they're down two points with under 90 seconds left. Michael Jordan on the 2017 Bulls, a collection of goats out here right now. Player, team, all of that. They might lose to current day Steph Curry who hits a bomb from deep. Oh my goodness. Dude, it's literally current day Steph and Will. They're just killing it. Okay, 2017 Steph trying to do the same thing. Oh, he does. Wide open look for three. Uh, almost looked like they had a foot on the line there. We started off with two clutch Steph Curry bombs and then uh, the game got real sloppy. All right, so is anyone going to get a shot other than Steph? How about 99 Michael Jordan? No, no, can't interest you in uh, Mike getting a look. Okay, Steph, fair enough. You just muscled one up and in. Young Steph, as I'll refer to him, uh, now has the upper hand. I mean, it's a tie game, but he's hit two buckets in the clutch. What can old Steph do? Old Steph going right to the rim. He didn't want to take the layup. That was a bad decision. Back the other way comes the 2017 Warriors. Clay Thompson. Oh, Clay could have shot that. Instead, no, stay away from Wilt. No, I knew. Ah, oh, you could have kicked that out. Steph was wide open. Old Steph and the Warriors now back the other way. Jonathan Kaminga, one most improved player, working on prime uh, Clay Thompson defensively. And Steph travels in the clutch. Are you kidding me? Dog, that's crazy. Steph Curry ran into prime Clay Thompson, immediately picked up his dribble and traveled. Okay, Michael Jordan is not involved at all right here. It's all Steph Curry. Oh, that's a wide, that's a wide open mid range. Old Steph, what are you doing? Our battle of Steph Curry's isn't really ending like that. Old Steph let you. Young Steph have a warm-up elbow jump shot. Oh my gosh. He wow, he was wide open for three there for a second. But he healed. He can hit that shot, but he doesn't, thankfully. We've got a game seven. 2017 Steph really was cooking Mike with 24, 6, and 7. I would have liked to see him involved there, but they won. Before we get to that game seven of Golden State teams, we've got to see if the 01 Lakers with Magic. No, wait a minute. It's the 87 Lakers. I forgot with team one already. Can they push a game seven against the current Mavericks with Kareem? They're gonna need some more magic from Carl Malone, but I took his number away. I'll Oh my god, maybe I just screwed over the Lakers. Okay, Magic is tired. Don't like that. Carl Malone is not tired though, and he's got a mismatch over a much smaller defender. That was a beautiful step. Dude, Carl Malone is balling right now. I kind of like this matchup for uh, Magic Johnson and the Lakers, especially because Luka is tired. Wait, he fumbles the ball. Kareem picks it up and misses. Uh, why did Kareem just miss that? Back down the other way, Byron Scott in transition passes Byron. Ba you had Michael Thompson wide open. Oh my word, the AI for both teams is selling. Klay Thompson back the other way. He could have shot a three instead of contested two. What are you doing? Clay Thompson thinks he's playing in the mid 2000s, has to force up a mid range jumper. Magic is tired. I don't know where this is going. Luca does not know how to play defense. Magic spins around him into help defense. Everybody needs to chill. Luka Doncic is tired. He can still hit a shot though. He's going to take a screen from Kareem. Can Magic fight through it? Or will Luca have a pretty good look? A signature gather, a moon ball three. I fear that might have just won the game because Magic and the Showtime Lakers are out of timeouts and Magic bricks at the buzzer. Crazy game winner from Luca to advance to the West Finals. Now, which Golden State team do we see prevail in a game seven? And look at that current old man Steph misses one more three. I, honestly, I'm surprised at how well him and Wilt did in this video. On paper, Golden State's roster just does not look that great. In real life too, for being honest, even though they're playing amazing. But I digress. Thankfully, we do see Michael Jordan on the 2017 Warriors advance. Like, that's kind of what we all needed. Wow, Wilt. Oh my gosh. He was trying to carry Steph. What happened? 42 and 16 in a lot. Steph, you did not pull your weight, my guy. Meanwhile, Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, and Michael they all went over 20 points. Yes, it's a perfect team. Will that perfect team, though, be able to combat Luka Doncic, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and Kyrie Irving? I mean, I guess we'll find out. Well, over in the East, I would think MJ and Hakeem are the perfect team, but nah, these Celtics are ridiculous. Did they have Kristaps coming off the bat? Al Horford? Yeah, it might be over for the Bulls. All right, this is getting... 
This is a game. The, the freaking current Mavericks, man. I should not have included them in this video. A 4 nothing. So really? Let's dive into it for a second. I get it, okay? Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is a 99 overall with 98 Luka, 93 Kyrie. They've got three 82 overalls and an 80. All right, yeah, it's a pretty good team. I'm not going to lie. Luka simulates well, but just take a look at the 2017 Golden State Warriors. They have not one, but two, no, three 97 plus overalls. And then Clay Thompson, uh, the Dallas Mavericks don't have, well, they do have a Clay Thompson, but he's not a 92 overall. They've got an 86 and 83. I'm just saying on paper, this series should not have been a sweep. And for the content, I mean, we're all very let down. Michael Jordan on the Warriors didn't work out. Thankfully for Michael Jordan fans and uh, for the rest of us who didn't want to see current day Mavs versus Celtics, I think yes, indeed. There we go. Luka Doncic, West Finals MVP, of course. Hakeem. Okay. okay. I'm sure Mike's getting his, but uh, Hakeem's doing everything for the Bulls. We just looked at that Mavericks roster. The 96 Bulls are no joke with two full-fledged 99 overalls plus Pippen plus Rodman. Uh, they're not quite as deep, but as far as like the first six or seven pieces go, this Bulls team might be better. I just want to see a good series, man. I'd love a clutch finish. Here we go, NBA Finals. The Bulls take game one. Oh no, the Mavs. Are they about to choke in a second straight video? No, they tie a series up. Okay, Luka, he doesn't want to go out sad. Oh no, I'm I'm reverse jinxing every team here. It's 2-1 Mavs. It's 2-2, thank goodness. We've got a series game five, though so pivotal. And the Mavericks take it. Oh my gosh, Mike Hakeem, it's your time now. In the video in which I released every team's best player, I was so mad at the Mavericks. They ended up choking in the finals or did they just lose? They, I think they got swept in the finals. Anyways, they're out for revenge right now. Luka does not want to lose two games, two videos in a row. But Michael Jordan, obviously eager to avenge his loss on the 2017 Golden State Warriors. A huge comeback. Chicago wins. Wow, Scotty Pippen on a team with Mike and Hakeem leading the way in scoring. That's a low key surprise. But here we go. Game seven. It's back in Dallas. That's right. They won like 60 million games this regular season. Oh, they take an early big lead. Uh oh, Mike, come on. Hakeem. Oh, they flipped the script. A massive run in the third quarter. Oh, okay. we're getting a clutch finish here. People. The Bulls have a three point lead. I would say they're clinging to it at this point. Prime Hakeem Olajuwon. Oh my word. Daniel Gafford just, just smacked this man across the face. Uh, Hakeem gets the board and puts it back. Good. I don't know what the refs are on, but I don't, I, I don't know what 2K is on. How would... Uh, that animation not ending up in being a foul. Luca, why are you chucking a three against Ron Harper, a legit great defender? Ron Harper back in transition. He gets fouled. You know, for the content, I would love to see, I don't know, a game winner, overtime, something like that. Let's see if Dallas can come back. Luca, just don't chuck a bad shot here. Kyrie's tired. Oh my goodness, that sucks. And he's going up against Mike. Kyrie, you might want to pass this rock. Move the pill, Kyrie. Move the pill. Oh, oh okay. Never mind. Never mind. I don't know, ball. Kyrie's amazing. That was a really impressive bucket. Back on the other end. Kyrie's not getting a stop on Mike. Where's the hell? Game seven, NBA Finals. Luca going to work again. That's a, uh, I kind of thought that was a good look. Kareem on the back tap once again, but the Mavs don't recover. Dallas, the door is still open. You could really use a three. Kyrie, a pull up. Kyrie, Kyrie, I know you just hit a big shot, but really, my guy, you forced one up over Ron Harper. Back the other way. Scotty Pippen, a poster over old man Clay Thompson. One last chance here for Dallas. If Clay makes this one, okay, finally. I'm trying to vamp towards the end of this game. I think that's it. 37, 9, and 14 from Luka. In game seven, 20 from Kareem. It wasn't enough considering Michael Jordan, a masterclass, 47 and 7. Hakeem, 30 and 59. Nah. I knew they would be really good, obviously, but I didn't see it coming with the 96 Bulls just running rough shot through this video. Granted, it took him seven games in the NBA Finals, but of course, we all thought Mike on the 2017 Warriors, that would be the best. No, it's Michael Jordan and Hakeem, maybe the greatest duo anyone could have assembled. Let me know if you enjoyed this video down below.